hey, I do not recommend any of you guys trying this at home. It was a pain in the butt, and I have no idea how long it'll last. So I reached out to all these companies asking them if they could make an emerald green mouse, and all of them told me no. So I decided to take matters into my own hand and make my own emerald green mice. I say mice got me two of them. And here's my results and here's the process I used. Again, I don't recommend any of you guys trying this at home. Alright, so we're starting off with a metal base coat. Which, my technique here is pretty bad, I'll be honest. It was uh, from Crazy or Custom Cans. They had me buy this stuff, which was a very shiny metallic base coat before I put on the candy emerald. So that's what I'm doing here. Beforehand, I sanded this all down, but I also have to dip in mineral spirits just to get any excess oil from my fingers or anything off of it and any other fine dust from the sanding process. So as you can see here, I'm just going through layering it, making sure I get every inch. I accidentally oversprayed on one part here, so it's shinier than the rest, but I go back and fix that later on. The hardest part of this was making sure it was all even coat, because I had no idea what I was doing, as you can tell. And I got bored at a few points, so I was just messing around pretending I was Spider-Man. Oh hey, look, I learned teleportation. This is awesome. Alright, so now we're spray painting with the candy emerald green. And I think at this point I had a little bit more confidence in what I was doing before I had no idea what I was doing. I seemed to find a routine slash pattern for it, which kind of worked. I mean, if you have any tips or recommendations, let me know in the comments below. So first layer made it look like lime green, which scared me. Originally I thought it was not going to be green enough. But I also think I overdid it with the metallic paint. So I'm just taking my time, doing light coats, letting it dry for about 2 seconds, 50 seconds, and then putting on an art coat, unless it was still wet, then it would wait a little bit longer and then spray the next coat on. I was eyeballing it all too, making sure I was doing even coats, because this was going to be the top coat opposed to the 2K uh, clear coat that I was going to add on. So it was very important for me to make sure everything was evenly coated, otherwise it would look odd with little patches. So by this point, I was like trying to rush through this, but I knew I couldn't because if I rushed the paint, it would start burning and whatnot. So I just have to make sure I covered every spot and go nice and slow. Now the green I used, I'm pretty happy with. I think the silver though makes it too shimmery. I don't know how I could lessen those effects because if I painted it on the plastic itself, it would have been a matte green opposed to a metallic, which I wanted that premium look. So I kept switching between both sides, the top and bottom of the mouse. I wasn't going to use up all the paint on one side only. I wanted to make sure I had enough paint to do both sides because it was only a 5 or 6 ounce can, which was a problem. I wish they made bigger cans, but they don't. And I didn't see it on Amazon unless I probably went through their website. Then maybe it would have been a little bit easier to find a bigger can, but probably more expensive too. So I'm inspecting my work. I saw that silver spot still over there that I overdid. So I was trying to even out with the green, which I... I think I fixed for the most part. We'll see in the end results. Reminds me of Green Goblin. I love the color of it. It's it's so nice. It matches my helmet and my sunglasses. So the bottom side I didn't really give much work, so I was making sure I was recovering that area because knowing myself I would have forgot or not put enough layers on there and it would have looked like a half butt job. Now I was doing the final sprays, final touches, making sure all of it was covered. That no silver was shining. Alright, so here's the end results. This is the first mouse. Which this was using a silver coat with the original paint that I tried in part 1. Which, it didn't turn out bad, but I'm not the biggest fan of the color. And I did scratch the clear coat on the top. Other than that, I'm kind of happy with it. I feel like it's a little too glossy, opposed to a metallic look. But that's okay, it was a learning experience. And this was the Razer 8K Viper, I believe. And you can already see I'm wearing off a part right there, but I did put clear coat. This is rubber on the sides. Is what it is. If it wears off, it wears off. Maybe I'll make a video every week. I just show the mouse and see how much it degrades over time. If anyone's interested, let me know. So the second mouse, which I'm still waiting on this to dry, because I made a screw up with uh, when I was trying to take off the trigger buttons. This would not come off, and I may have pushed down too hard, causing it not to hit the trigger button on the 
actual mouse itself right here. That's a laser switch. So I had to put super glue inside of there. I put one layer. It was barely enough for it to click. So I put one more layer. I'm waiting for that to dry. And then I'll reassemble this. I had to super glue the battery back on there to the plastic plate. And then it'll be all said and done. It'll be connected. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I'm just not sure how I feel about the reflectiveness or silver. I mean, it does look metallic, so I can't complain too much. It is what I wanted. I just feel like it's too shiny, but it is what it is. So, yeah. If anyone's interested in doing this, I don't recommend it, but it does sort of work. Player signing out. Hey, you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe. Otherwise, leave a comment on what I can do to improve. Okay, bye.